I'm fine. Okay, so you're doing great. She ends is, uh, today it's very sunny in my country. Uh -huh. Yes. As you can see here, it's very hot. Okay, apparently we moved, our teacher and moved in my new open. Okay, this is trend. Oh, the teacher and she has here like this. Okay. Wow. This is my new room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The classrooms. Yeah. In 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 the in the school. Yeah, it's in the school. Oh. Under construction. But look at this room. It's quite big. Here. Oh. Our room is big. Yeah. You can see here. Ten. Oh. There is a beautiful mountain. And there, there's a stairs going down. Look, look. Mm -hmm. Down. Yeah. You can see down? Yeah. Ate. Ate. Api lang sili garing room ha. Tama te. Okay, so this is the the teacher. They were having a test. All of them were having a test. So today is political tests. Look at them. I will show you how. Mm -hmm. Look, ting, 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 ting. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. That's a cleaner. The one who cleaned the house. Then we have here. We have here. Look at here. Can you see? Look at. Look at me. Yeah. We tell it, huh? I will show you. Look. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mountain. Can you oh see? Oh my God. Can you see? Beautiful, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Our school is on the top me, so that's why it's quite okay. Yeah, look at that. It's mountain <laughs> here. It's very hot. Okay, can you see that one? Yeah. Look at you. Look at me. Mountain. Look. Oh. Yeah. You see hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is another room. Who who is me? Yeah. Yeah, it's big. The one is here. Uh -huh. Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. They're having a test. Oh my god. Yeah. They're having a test. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hey. Teacher, what's the test about? It's about math or English? Math. It's math. Oh. Jillian. Say hi to Jillian. Yeah. Hi, Jillian. So many. That's the teacher. They're having a test. So many of them. Look. Yeah. Um, look. 
Did you know how long it takes about? How long? What is it? Again. How how long it is? How long? Yeah. Three days. It's the three days. Oh, you say mm -hmm. hi to that handsome boy. No. Oh, that one. Okay. You say hi to the handsome boy. You say hi. What? Hi. Oh, that's handsome boy. How old are no, you? No, I don't think. I don't oh, you think. don't think? Hala, you don't think that he is handsome? He is handsome. Hala, that one. He's handsome. That one. Ah. Okay. You say hi. No, 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 no. I don't think. Okay. Saka chair. Hey, class eight down. Sorry, sorry, Ramis. This is outside. Umal a class eight day. Janti na ko. Look here. It's outside. Yeah. It's done. No, no, I don't want to see him. Let's search and read. Sure, you say hi. 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 Ah, uh, this is the handsome boy. No. No? Wait, no. he's handsome. We should pass, 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 pass. <laughs> Handsome boy. Oh, this is the most handsome boy. Oh, you say hi. 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 <laughs> you say hi. No. No. This one. The last one. The greatest among all. This one. Katawa. <laughs> no. 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 Do you think they're handsome here? Yeah? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They're not tansa? Yeah. <laughs> They're not tansa? Agua, <laughs> oi. There's no tansa? Yeah. No tansa? <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Today, uh, yesterday, eh, our one of our students get hurt because she fell in the ground and she really get hurt. She cried a lot because someone put swing on on the on the hallway and she tried to pass. Oh, and so that's what happened. Okay. So we have here, yeah. so you've seen, so our building, the one I show you is the most, the newest, it's the newest building, the newest, okay, because we uh -huh. are already in the third floor, so first floor, second floor, and now it's third floor already, so I will send you the pic of my school for the, the entire school. Okay, so I will share it to you now. Okay, so I hope you enjoy because <laughs> this is the first. <laughs> okay, you don't feel like there's handsome in my students? No one is handsome? Yeah, no, no, no one. Oh, no, no one is handsome. Oh, my God, why? Why no one is handsome? No Filipino, one. Filipino boys are handsome. 
No, because I I can see. Yes, you can see that. And it's so and and can and see that? Is so is so dark. <laughs> you can see that. What? Okay. How about Filipina girls? Do you think Jill Jillian is pretty? Yeah. Okay, Jillian is pretty or no? What? Do you think Jillian is pretty or no? Yeah, it's pretty. Ah, uh, she's pretty because she's my daughter. <laughs> 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 and you are Jillian's friend. Okay. By the way, Jillian will be celebrating her birthday on next month. That's October five. And you know what me? We will gonna give her a surprise. Surprise party. And Julian does not know about it. It's secret. She doesn't know that she will gonna have a party. So we make it secret. Mm. So most of her classmates and friends, they will go there. So those are Julian's classmates. The one you show, the one you see, the Argelians classmates, all of them. Yeah. So there are only few, right? There are only 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, they were having math, uh, test in math. And they were going to have like... You, you, you teach, what subject do you teach at school? English. I am teaching uh, literature, English, and wait. English and economics. Oh. Mm, for grade 10 and grade 7, class 7 and class 10, I am handling subjects economics and values education. That is, values education is about uh, what they call the one in your country. You have uh, Christian living, it's about faith, religion, like that. Uh huh. Love or family, oh, I'm teaching like that. And I am only teaching for subjects English and economics and values. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's not economics, by the way, it's history of the world. It's about world geography. It's geography. I am teaching geography. Okay, so now let us have here. Okay, I will not introduce. Let yeah. us have here. Yeah, wait, so there are seven quarter, questions in okay, this part. Yeah. In this quarter, we need to finish all the pet. If we are finished all the pet, let's finish intermediate. You are already intermediate, right? Very yeah. fast. After intermediate, if we finish, we will move to another. We will not skip skip. We will finish pets and then we only have four lessons. Four lessons for pet. After that, we'll move to intermediate. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Pet? No. Ah, sorry. No, no, no. I forgot. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, how's no? And how about you and no? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Very Are okay. okay. Are you seeing each other? Yeah, what? Are you seeing each other? You guys okay? Yes, it's okay. It's you seeing each other? Um, yes, but have to ask me. Oh, why? Because uh, no, it's... I uh, use my like example like um you know is using my 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 um my pencil like that and don't ask me so I also I have talked to you when you are borrow something and you have to ask like that. Ah, okay. So aside from that, you did not see each other. <laughs> Your school is quite far. What? Your school is quite far from no. no it is not. Uh huh. What? Your school is quite far. Far from no or just near. Uh, my school. Uh, this is like, this is my house. This is mm. my my opposite. My uh, the house is opposite my my house. So, so school is uh is behind the the the, the that house. Ah, but near, near. Yeah, it's near. Wow, oh my God, that's good, okay? So at least uh, that's near, okay? So how about new school? New school is what? Um, I think 
No, I think no. Uh, but but it's quite bad. Uh, she have to go to her her school like uh five maybe five or ten minutes. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we have here. Look at the three pictures for then question I... one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What regular exercise does David do at the moment? You're looking well, David. Have you been to the gym a lot recently or something? Well, I joined a gym earlier this year, but I stopped going. It was just too difficult and expensive too. I've done a lot of swimming instead and I feel much better for it. It shows. I'm thinking of taking up tennis again. Would you be interested in a game one day? You used to be quite good, didn't you? Well, I haven't played for a long time, but why not? Now listen again. You're looking well, David. Have you been to the gym a lot recently or something? Well, I joined a gym earlier this year, but I stopped going. It was just too difficult and expensive too. I've done a lot of swimming instead and I feel much better for it. It shows. I'm thinking of taking up tennis again. Would you be interested in a game one day? You used to be quite good, didn't you? Well, I haven't played for a long time, but why not? Two. What should Susie take to Emma's house? Susie, it's Emma. We've got to make some paper flowers so the classroom looks nice for the end of term party. Can you come to my house this evening to help me do it? Some paint left over from last time, but I can't find any brushes. Have you got one? Bring it if you have. And if we have a pair of scissors each, we can work faster, so don't forget yours. We'll need coloured paper, but I'm getting that from college. See you around six. Now listen again. Susie, it's Emma. We've got to make some paper flowers so the classroom looks nice for the end of term party. Can you come to my house this evening to help me do it? There's some paint left over from last time, but I can't find any brushes. Have you got one? Bring it if you have. And if we have a pair of scissors each, we can work faster, so don't forget yours. We'll need coloured paper, but I'm getting that from college. See you around six. Three. Which kind of T-shirt did the boy choose? Look, it's your present. Just choose a T-shirt and then you can have anything you like printed on it. They've got three types. A picture like this one with boats on, or there are some with words. And this type has shapes on it. Well, I really don't like writing. It makes me feel like an advertisement, and those pictures are awful. Right then, I know which one you'll choose. Now listen again. Look, it's your present. Just choose a T-shirt and then you can have anything you like printed on it. They've got three types, a picture like this one with boats on, or there are some with words. And this type has shapes on it. Well, I really don't like writing. It makes me feel like an advertisement and those pictures are awful. Right then, I know which one you'll choose. Four. What frightened the man? How was your camping holiday in Africa? Oh, fantastic. We saw all sorts of wildlife. You know, lots of lions and all that. Wasn't it frightening with all those animals so close to your tent? Oh, not really. To be honest, what scared me most were the bats. They flew so close at night. I thought I'd be frightened of all the other things, like elephants. But in the end, I wasn't, because we only saw them during the day, and they were mostly quite a long way away. Now listen again. 
How was your camping holiday in Africa? Oh, fantastic. We saw all sorts of wildlife. You know, lots of lions and all that. Wasn't it frightening with all those animals so close to your tent? Oh, not really. To be honest, what scared me most were the bats. They flew so close at night. I thought I'd be frightened of all the other things, like elephants. But in the end, I wasn't, because we only saw them during the day. And they were mostly quite a long way away. Five. Where is the man calling from? Hello, Mary. Could you come and collect me? I went to a client's house by taxi and I can't get one back. Sure. Where are you exactly? You know the bridge over the river on the North Road? If you go over that and take the first left, you see a bar on the right. I'll be waiting there. I'm actually in the farmhouse down the road from there at the moment. Mrs Collins has been kind enough to let me use her phone. Fine. See you in the bar soon. Now listen again. Hello, Mary. Could you come and collect me? I went to a client's house by taxi and I can't get one back. Sure. Where are you exactly? You know the bridge over the river on the North Road. If you go over that and take the first left, you see a bar on the right. I'll be waiting there. I'm actually in the farmhouse down the road from there at the moment. Mrs Collins has been kind enough to let me use her phone. Fine. See you in the bar soon. Six. How did the woman spend her last holiday? You're looking well. How was your holiday in the mountains? Not so good. I hurt my foot on the day I arrived, so climbing was just impossible. While everyone else was going off to the mountains, I stayed and read a book by the hotel pool. Not my idea of a good holiday. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, at least you had a good rest. Is your foot better now? Not really. I sit and watch television a lot and try to be patient. Now listen again. You're looking well. How was your holiday in the mountains? Not so good. I hurt my foot on the day I arrived, so climbing was just impossible. While everyone else was going off to the mountains, I stayed and read a book by the hotel pool. Not my idea of a good holiday. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, at least you had a good rest. Is your foot better now? Not really. I sit and watch television a lot and try to be patient. Seven. Where is the girl's purse? Mum, I'm just off to the shop. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my money? Oh, I found your purse lying on the table earlier, so I put it back in your bag. Well, it's not in there now. Maybe it's fallen on the floor somewhere. Can you help me look under the sofa? That's where I was sitting a minute ago. Just a minute. Let me check. Oh, yes, look, it is in here after all. <sighs> I told you that's where I'd put it. You just didn't look properly. Now listen again. Mum, I'm just off to the shop. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my money? Oh, I found your purse lying on the table earlier, so I put it back in your bag. Well, it's not in there now. Maybe it's fallen on the floor somewhere. Can you help me look under the sofa? That's where I was sitting a minute ago. Just a minute. Let me check. Oh, yes, look, it is in here after all. <sighs> I told you that's where I'd put it. You just didn't look properly. That is the end of part one. Okay, so number one, what regular exercise does David do at the moment? Better? 
swim. Okay, very good. What should Susie take to make to to take to Emma's house? I think paper and scissors. Okay, it's letter, it's a brush and the scissors. Which kind of t-shirt did the boy choose? Which kind of t-shirt did the boy choose? Letter C, the one with asymmetrical with different shapes, that wrong. And what frightened man? It's letter A. Next one, where is the man calling from? Okay, it's letter C. Okay, how did the woman spend her last holiday? It's letter B. Wow. And, yeah, where is the growth first? A. Okay, it's letter C. Okay, so this one. Okay, please try to answer. This is about the ballet dancer called Elena Carpom. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a radio interview with a ballet dancer called Elena Karpov, who is talking about her life and career. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. My guest today is the star of the London Ballet Company, 22-year-old Elena Karpov. Elena, you were born in Bulgaria. Did you always want to be a dancer? Well, I was a very lively little girl, so at the age of seven, my mother sent me to gymnastics classes. When I was nine, I went on to ballet lessons, and from that moment, I knew that I wanted to spend my life dancing. Two years later, when I was 11, I won a place at the New York Ballet School. So you had to move to the United States. Mm. Did you miss your family? Oh, yes. At first, it was difficult being away from home and not knowing a lot of English. But it taught me how to look after myself and not to depend on others. There were other Bulgarian students there and we actually found it quite easy to learn enough English to take part in the lessons with the other students. Hmm. Tell us about your latest role with the London Ballet Company. Hmm. I'm going to dance the part of Cinderella. It's a story about a poor girl who marries a handsome prince. My parents used to read it to me when I was little. I'd never seen the ballet before, but I already knew the music really well. I'm sure children will love the ballet. What do you do when you're not practicing or performing? Uh, before I joined this company, I spent two weeks going round London as a tourist. I don't have time for sightseeing now, but I love trying on the latest fashions with my friends. I'm always buying new jeans and trainers. I'm not too keen on discos and nightclubs. I dance enough during the day. You must have lots of fans. Quite a few. They always ask for a photograph of me, but unfortunately I don't have many to give away. I sometimes sign their programmes instead, and if I can, I give them one of the flowers I've received from the audience. They always ask for tickets, <laughs> but of course that's not possible. What's been the best thing that's happened in your career so far? 
Well, I've been a guest dancer with ballet companies in Moscow and Vienna, and I appeared twice on television in Bulgaria and met the president. I shall never forget that. But the most satisfying thing for me is that I'm paid for doing what I really enjoy, dancing. Helena, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Now listen again. My guest today is the star of the London Ballet Company, 22-year-old Elena Karpov. Elena, you were born in Bulgaria. Did you always want to be a dancer? Well, I was a very lively little girl, so at the age of seven, my mother sent me to gymnastics classes. When I was nine, I went on to ballet lessons, and from that moment, I knew that I wanted to spend my life dancing. Two years later, when I was 11, I won a place at the New York Ballet School. So you had to move to the United States. Mm. Did you miss your family? Oh, yes. At first, it was difficult being away from home and not knowing a lot of English. But it taught me how to look after myself and not to depend on others. There were other Bulgarian students there, and we actually found it quite easy to learn enough English to take part in the lessons with the other students. Hmm. Tell us about your latest role with the London Ballet Company. Hmm. I'm going to dance the part of Cinderella. It's a story about a poor girl who marries a handsome prince. My parents used to read it to me when I was little. I'd never seen the ballet before, but I already knew the music really well. I'm sure children will love the ballet. What do you do when you're not practicing or performing? Uh, before I joined this company, I spent two weeks going round London as a tourist. I don't have time for sightseeing now, but I love trying on the latest fashions with my friends. I'm always buying new jeans and trainers. I'm not too keen on discos and nightclubs. I dance enough during the day. You must have lots of fans. Quite a few. They always ask for a photograph of me, but unfortunately I don't have many to give away. I sometimes sign their programmes instead, and if I can, I give them one of the flowers I've received from the audience. They always ask for tickets, <laughs> but of course that's not possible. What's been the best thing that's happened in your career so far? Well, I've been a guest dancer with ballet companies in Moscow and Vienna, and I appeared twice on television in Bulgaria and met the president. I shall never forget that. But the most satisfying thing for me is that I'm paid for doing what I really enjoy, dancing. Helena, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Okay, so number eight, Elena decided to become a dancer when she was. Now turn to part two. Questions eight. Okay, she was nine. <laughs> okay, at ballet school in New York, Elena learned to be independent. And ten, what does Elena say about the ballet called Cinderella? Okay, it's letter A. And in her free time, Elena likes to go shopping. And what does Elena often do for her fans? Letter A. She gives them a flower. And what does Elena likes best about her job? Letter B. Doing something she loves. Okay. Okay, so this one, another. Okay. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. Oh. You will hear a group leader talking to some students who are going to visit an important athletics event in Birmingham. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Oh, wait, stop. <laughs> Listen.
Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Right, everyone. Some important information about the three college trips before the end of June. Firstly, we're all going to Birmingham to see the International Athletics Championships. That's the only trip we've planned during March because I know that April is such a busy time for students. We're going on the 15th. For those of you who haven't heard of this event before, it's the largest single sports competition in Britain, so we're really pleased that we're going. 140 different national teams will take part, which means you'll see 520 world-class sportsmen and women there, and you'll be amongst thousands of other fans. The stadium seats 17,000. We'll be leaving here early, and we've decided to go by train this time and not hire a coach because we got delayed in traffic jammers when we went to Birmingham before. I hope everyone's pleased about that. Next, someone asked me what to take. Firstly, what not to take. Leave your cameras behind because taking photos is forbidden, but you must have your identity card with you as we've bought a group ticket and you may need to show it. Mobile phones are OK, but you'll have to turn them off during the event, so it's probably better not to take them. If you want to read some more about the event on the internet, go to Birmingham's website. Then look for the word Burr Info in the page index. That's spelt B-I-R-I-N-F-O. You'll find all kinds of information about the championships there. As for our trip... I don't have the final details of journey times yet, but I will by this afternoon. So I think I'll write an information sheet with answers to all your questions on it. You'll get copies of this on Friday, so you can read through everything over the weekend. Right, the second trip will be... Now listen again. Hello. Right, everyone. Some important information about the three college trips before the end of June. Firstly, we're all going to Birmingham to see the International Athletics Championships. That's the only trip we've planned during March because I know that April is such a busy time for students. We're going on the 15th. For those of you who haven't heard of this event before, it's the largest single sports competition in Britain, so we're really pleased that we're going. 140 different national teams will take part, which means you'll see 520 world-class sportsmen and women there, and you'll be amongst thousands of other fans. The stadium seats 17,000. We'll be leaving here early, and we've decided to go by train this time and not hire a coach because we got delayed in traffic jammers when we went to Birmingham before. I hope everyone's pleased about that. Next, someone asked me what to take. Firstly, what not to take. Leave your cameras behind because taking photos is forbidden, but you must have your identity card with you, as we've bought a group ticket and you may need to show it. Mobile phones are OK, but you'll have to turn them off during the event, so it's probably better not to take them. If you want to read some more about the event on the internet, go to Birmingham's website. Then look for the word Burr Info in the page index. That's spelt B-I-R-I-N-F-O. You'll find all kinds of information about the championships there. As for our trip... I don't have the final details of journey times yet, but I will by this afternoon. So I think I'll write an information sheet with answers to all your questions on it. You'll get copies of this on Friday, so you can read through everything over the weekend. Right, the second trip will be... Okay, so number one, that is the end of part three. Of college trip, it's on... Now turn to part it's three. Questions four. Okay, number of people, sports people, rather, there are 520, very good. And how the group will travel to Birmingham? Three. You know, one of Jillian's cousin is already in Birmingham. 
they are already oh. in Birmingham. Yeah, in England. Oh, that's oh. so nice because the the uh, the Julian's uh, what they call it uncle, the wife of the uncle is a nurse and the uncle is engineer. So they went to Birmingham. What group member should take on day? Hey, on identity ID or ID card. Name of the website page. It's Berenfo. Berenfo. And which day other details will be available to students? It's Friday. Okay. So this one, look at this sentence. It's the last one. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Get me. You will hear two friends, a boy, Rolf, and a girl, Maria, talking about the jobs they would like to do in the future. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. What do you want to do when you leave college, Rolf? I haven't decided yet, Maria. I might go travelling for six months and then look for a job. How about you? I hope to start work straight away. Do you know where? Well, I'd prefer to live near my family, but I want to see the world too, so I'd hope to have plenty of trips for work. You could get a job with an airline company. Mm, that'd be great, but it's hard to get into. I know lots of people apply for that kind of work, but you're good at languages. I'm sure they'd accept you. I hope so. Have you really not decided what job you'd like? It's difficult. M my degree's in music, but I definitely don't want to be a music teacher. I'll probably look for something completely different. Oh, that's a shame. Why not become a music teacher? You'd get long holidays. But if I got a job in business, I could earn far more money. Lots of people say money doesn't matter, and you should just find a job you enjoy. But I think a job has to pay well, so you can live comfortably. Mm, that's exactly how I see it. Do you think you'll have lots of different jobs before you find a really good one? I expect so. No one finds the perfect job immediately. I'd like to find a job I really like and stay with the same company for at least ten years. Oh, I see. Well, that's interesting. Your father has his own business, doesn't he? Yes, but I don't want to work for him. But he could help you set up your own business. Oh, I couldn't imagine doing that. I know how many hours my father has to work. Hmm. Your free time's important to you, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Right. <laughs> Okay. Now listen again. Yeah. What do you want to do when you leave? Okay. So Maria would like to travel a lot as part of her job. Letter A. And Maria is confident that she will be able to work for an airline. And Rolf intends to do a job connected with his degree. And Maria and Rolf agree it is important to have a good salary. And Maria hopes to work for several different employers. And Rolf's ambition is to manage his own company one day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So me, teacher Anne, we're going to have another class. I will go to my, because I need to take the test for my values education subject. I need to go to that class. Okay. So bye-bye for now. See you on Monday, right? Monday. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah, Bye.